so okay if it's okay we can start now yes yes, yes. Okay, you all are welcome to today's lecture. Actually, uh, today's lecture means <clears throat> today we have to discuss, uh, <clears throat> or we have to continue with previous lecture. Do you remember I told you? Yes. 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 Uh, this is a very big topic. Yes. Mm. And uh, big note. <laughs> We have to discuss more. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> we couldn't discuss all the details of this note. Therefore, <clears throat> I divi divided it to, <clears throat> into two parts, but uh, to the same presentation. Huh? Okay. Because uh, it is the, the same topic. Uh, <clears throat> this is our paper. Uh, <clears throat> this is the topic uh, which we discussed uh, last week and today also we have to continue development of Buddhist order in Sri Lanka. Okay. Uh, last week we discussed uh, there were many uh, kings uh, involved to the uh, <clears throat> Buddhist order to develop the Buddhist order in Sri Lanka. Uh, King uh, Devanam Pietis uh, when uh, Mahamahinda Tero, arrival of Sri Lanka, he was the king. After that, uh, his uh, son and the other kings, uh, especially we discussed about King Dutugemunu. Remember? Yes. Uh, he built a uh, great pagoda uh, <laughs> like this. Uh, <clears throat> those buildings. Uh, this is the highest uh, pagoda. Largest pagoda in Sri Lanka, one of largest pagoda. Ruan Veli. Ruan Veli Yes, you remember. This is the King Dutugamunu. Then uh, <clears throat> this is the King <clears throat> Valagamba. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he also the one of uh, great king in Sri Lanka who helped to the Buddhist order uh, to develop and spread Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Okay. Uh, at that time, the Tripitaka was uh, composed uh, by the monks with uh, <clears throat> colonist uh, leader. Um, we discussed all the details last um, week and uh, especially uh, mentioned the Vaitulis, Vaitulism or Vaitulivada came to Sri Lanka. Uh, some scholars say the Vaitulivada is uh, Mahayana Buddhism. Mm, we discussed this. Okay. <clears throat> Today we have to, uh, then uh, last we. Uh, discussed uh, there are main two sect in Sri Lanka. Uh, first one is Mahavihara, mm -hmm. the second one, uh, Jetavana. Yes, Nikaya. Uh, there were two sect in Sri Lanka at that time. Okay, uh, we have to start mm -hmm. from here today. Yes, okay, King Mahasena. Uh, inside the relic of uh, Buddha's belt in the Jetavana Vihara and built the Jetavana uh, Great Stupa or Pagoda uh, <clears throat> to a height of uh, 140 uh, riyans or cubit. Uh, this is the Jetavana Pagoda. Uh, can you see? Yes. Yes, Bhante. Uh, yes, this is uh, when uh, <clears throat> Sri Lankan uh, archaeologist uh, found Jetavanarama Pagoda, uh, the first uh, 
uh, picture uh, then they uh, renew it or they develop uh, and uh, this last picture this now we can see jetavana ram pagoda like this mm. okay uh, yeah. actually uh, <clears throat> this is a very uh, highest pagoda in sri lanka mm. but uh, uh, there is uh, uh, it is not finished okay because mm. uh, uh, you can see the upside uh, okay uh, no. according to uh, archaeological act uh, we cannot rebuild uh, this part mm. okay we cannot rebuild uh, but we can repair the uh, archaeologist uh, archaeological places okay uh, therefore they uh, <clears throat> repaired like this okay but they can rebuild mm. okay it means they can uh, add another part because uh, this pagoda uh, very old oldest one therefore uh, they cannot uh, add a new part uh, therefore uh, button if uh, someone add uh, the uh, lost part uh, to this pagoda this pagoda is the highest pagoda in sri lanka but uh, still uh, the ruanelisa is the highest pagoda because uh, it's a finished one okay uh, it's not broken uh, but this uh, this pagoda upper part was broken okay uh, this one 140 uh, cubic pagoda uh, Certainly, uh, on these three main temples, the monk of the island were divided into uh, <clears throat> Mahavihara Nikaya or Mahavihara sect, then Abegiri Nikaya or Abegiri sect, and the last one, Jetavana Vihara or Jetavana sect. Ah, uh, uh, firstly, there were two sects, Mahavihara and Abegiri, oh. uh, but uh, King Mahasena uh, built another uh, pagoda, uh, Jetavana Pagoda, uh, related to this pagoda, they are, uh, were created a new sect in Sri Lanka. Okay, by mm -hmm. the monks. Uh, now in Sri Lanka, uh, there were three mm -hmm. sect, main sect, uh, uh, and the sect continued until the 12th century, Samagri or Unity. Uh, in the 12th century, uh, at that time the 12th century all the uh, monks uh, together and uh, <clears throat> they united uh, and they were unity uh, until the 12th century there were three sect in sri lanka okay uh, especially you 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 have to remember these three sect okay if you write uh, question uh, of uh, question like uh, development of uh, Buddhism in Sri Lanka, you have you definitely you have to mention these three sect. Okay. Can you all hear me? <laughs> yes, Vante, we can hear you. Okay. Yes, Vante. You all have to, yes, you all have to remember uh, these three names or, or th these three sects. Okay. Uh, Mahavihara, Abhayagiri Vihara, and Jetavana Vihara. Okay. Uh, in the 5th century in Sri Lanka. Uh, then the period of King Mahasena can be seen a, a cut-off point in the development of Buddha Sasana Buddhist order. Actually, uh, King Mahasena period uh, also we can see uh, many uh, activities, uh, religious activities uh, he did, or he did his duty to the Buddhist order. The effort to uh, preserve the basic rule taught in Vinay Pitaka was uh, seen in very sectarian monks. Uh, the <clears throat> monks, they uh, get effort to uh, protect Vinay rules. Because of this, the king, ministers, popular leaders, as well as the public uh, made larger scales offering of tank 
anicots, uh, fields, uh, rich uh, grains, etc. for their uh, maintenance. Uh, uh, because uh, Sri Lankan uh, Buddhist monks, they uh, keep their vinaya uh, and disciplinary rule, they protect and uh, they uh, develop their uh, mindfulness. Therefore, the kings and other uh, peoples uh, or popular leaders and ministers, they offered uh, those items, uh, which means some land, some uh, lakes, like that, uh, to the Mahasanga to maintain the sasana or order. They have designed a uh, special role for uh, revenue control and management and uh, recorded them in inscription. Uh, they have mentioned uh, in inscriptions. Uh, the Mihintali inscription of King uh, Mahinda, uh, King uh, Mahinda V. Uh, Mahinda V means uh, there were many kings of uh, name of Mahinda. Okay. Uh, the fifth uh, King Mahinda uh, and the uh, Abegiri inscription uh, can be called uh, as such uh, mm -hmm. articles uh, containing the construction of uh, monastery uh, governs. Uh, uh, now, uh, those uh, two uh, inscriptions uh, <coughs> mention uh, that um, uh, Sri Lankan uh, leaders or uh, government leaders or the kings, they offered uh, some uh, specific lands and some lakes, uh, etc. Uh, to the Buddhist monks to maintain the uh, Buddhist order. Around the 5th century, uh, an important turning point occurred in the Theravada tradition. Ah, this, this is also a very important point in Sri Lankan Buddhist uh, order. Uh, the reason for this is that Venerable Buddha Gosha Thero, Buddha Gosha Stavira, Thero, who came from uh, Dhammadiva or India, wrote Pali Attakata commentaries based on Singhala Attakata commentaries. Uh, have you heard about uh, Venerable Buddha Gosha Thero? Yes. Okay. He's yes. a very famous uh, monk. Uh, actually, uh, uh, Venerable Buddha Gosha Thera, uh, he was the uh, Thera who wrote the Pali Attakata. Uh, what what mean Pali Attakata? Before the Pali Attakata, what can we see? Tripitak. Why did he? Sorry? Tripitak. Kenan. Yes. Tripitaka, we, we we could see the Tripitaka. Okay. But here mention he wrote uh, Pali Attakata based on Singhala Attakata. Hmm. Uh, because at that Hira time, tua. there were some Singhala commentaries. Hmm. Hira tua. Hira tua. Sorry? Hela tua. Hela tua. Hela tua. Ah, yes. That's the word. Hela tua. Yes. Ah, you have heard. <laughs> Helatua. Uh, yes. Yes. Helatua means Singhala. Uh, the, 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 those commentaries uh, wrote in Singhala language. Uh, after the arrival of uh, Mahamahinda Thera, after that, uh, the Sri Lankan Buddhist monk, uh, they wrote the Attakata in Singhala language. Uh, Venerable Buddha Gosha Thera, he translated. Okay. He translated those attakata to Pali language. Did you get the point? Yes. yes. Uh, at that time, they were Sihala attakata. Helatua. Uh, he translated uh, those Helatua or Sihala attakata uh, to the Pali language because uh, this is uh, uh, Palmyra Leus uh, writing attakata. Okay, at that this time, Pali was the international language of the Theravada Buddhist world. Ah, the reason is uh, at that time the Pali language is a uh, international language, like English now. Can you imagine all the people uh, <laughs> speak Pali at that time? 
ஒரு மகாவிஹார <laughs> Uh, uh, according to uh, says uh, according to uh, mahavansa uh, says uh, the god god uh, thief it Stay. okay the god got it okay uh, then he wrote again another book uh, the second time also was same incident the third time also uh, he uh wrote another same book visuddhi magga okay now there are three book there are three book now he wrote but same topic ah uh, after that the god uh, brought those two books to mahavihara and uh, venerable buddha gosthera bring uh, so, sorry brought uh, third book but those three book very same okay Uh, say those three books very same not any differences in those three books they are not any differences ah therefore mahavihara mang believed venerable buddha gosha ter now did you get the point yes uh, the yes. mahavansa says uh, god uh, got uh, this book hmm? he uh, stolen the god stolen this book but uh, the scholar says uh, definitely mahavihara monk they stolen okay they stolen uh, first two books because they wanted to check the knowledge of venerable buddha gosa thera ah uh, after that they gave all the uh, sihal atta katha to venerable buddha gosa thera therefore uh, it can be they uh, then uh, he uh, <coughs> uh, wrote the uh, pali commentaries therefore it can be thought that writing commentaries in pali language was a necessary of the uh, time uh, the international language was uh, pali language therefore uh, it was necessary to write the commentaries into a pali language uh, from the 5th century onwards many other changes were taking place in the religious uh, traditions of this country uh, the 5th century in sri lanka there were many uh, religions in sri lanka and uh, the differences and uh, there can be seen uh, many differences and changes with the religions okay that is many religious uh, practices that uh, paid more attention to amisa puja than pratipatti puja became popular in this country ah uh, have you heard the word uh, two words amisa puja and pratipatti puja 
प्रतिपत्ति मीन uh some activities doing uh, it uh, yourself to develop your mind like meditation meditation uh and observing seal okay ah uh, it directly develop your mind did you understand yes yes bante ji okay ah uh, yes uh, amisa puja uh, if if you uh, offer something to others and you doing another religious all the activities uh, and uh, pratipatti puja uh, pratipatti mean uh, if you develop your mind okay uh, this is the uh, uh, like uh, activities like meditation and observing seal like all the activities uh, based on uh, pratipatti or pratipatti puja uh ceremony such as relic worship and uh, aryavans preaching are examples ah uh, the at that time the uh, people and uh, this period monks also were the same they pay more attention to amisa puja than pratipatti puja ah uh, the relic worship and uh, some uh, aryavans preaching mean uh, one of uh, one of a preaching in sri lanka ah uh, Do all those activities were the uh, amisa activities? Okay, uh, a prince named Sila Kala, Sila Kala, who was a monk uh, in a monastery uh, in Bodhi Gaya, came to Ceylon during the time of first Mughalan king. Ah, uh, uh, now we come to another king, uh, King Mughalan. At that time. uh one person a prince came uh, the name is sila kala to sri lanka uh, with sacred treasure called kesha sorry uh, kesha datu is uh, relic of hair uh, there should be kesha s h a kesha okay kesha datu mean uh, the buddha's uh, relic of hair hair relic he came to sri lanka it can be understood that during this period there was a uh, decline in sasan order from the uh, mention in the chronicle uh, that the king the first mughalan did the uh, sasana reform uh, at that time uh, the king mughalan the first uh, mughalan he did the sasana reform uh, uh, because he saw Uh, there were many uh, other uh, changes in the Buddhist order. Uh, king Kumar Datu Sen, uh, who became the king after this, uh, after the first Mughalan Kumar Datu Sen, he uh, became a king. Also conducted the uh, Sangha, you know, or council, and conducted Sasana Sodana, purify of. Uh, the order ah he uh, did the council uh, do you remember uh, the third buddhist council did in dharma shoka uh, at that time also the buddhist order there were some incidents in the buddhist order therefore he did the uh, third buddhist council like that uh, in sri lanka uh, king kumar dhatu sena he also did the uh, council in sri lanka it seems uh, that the uh, mahayana ideologies that spread in indian uh, india began to flow into this country uh, through south india uh, now we can see uh, in sri uh, the mahayana buddhism uh, had started uh, to spread in india 
after the uh, second and third Buddhist councils, okay, uh, then uh, the Mahayana religious uh, step by step uh, slowly uh, uh, come to the Sri Lanka, uh, to the South India. As mentioned above, after the uh, accident of King Silakala, who brought Keshadatu, uh, previous mention, uh, Relic of Hair, uh, the Sri Lankan uh, Maskeya occurred. Uh, Magahataka uh, rule, uh, we discussed, uh, uh, he said, uh, on poor day, uh, uh, any person cannot kill any animal. Okay, this is uh, uh, this rule, Magataka. During this king's time, uh, a merchant named Purna, who came from Varanasi, uh, India, wrote a book called uh, Dharma Dhatu to Sri Lanka or Silo. Uh, uh, at that time, uh, a merchant named is Purna, he wrote a book. Actually, uh, someone says, uh, this is also a, uh, the part of Mahayana. Okay. Uh, and, uh, time to time, uh, sometimes uh, some monks or some uh, people, they try to uh, try to uh, bring um, Mahayana tradition to Sri Lanka. Okay. Those incidents uh, was uh, happened uh, for this, this means to bring Mahayana uh, Buddhism to Sri Lanka. Uh, then this was uh, stopped by uh, Abhayagirika bhikkhus. Okay, Abhayagiri monks uh, they stopped it, but Mahavihara bhikkhu were not uh, involved, uh, they did not involve the period of King Mughalan II. Okay, the second Mughalan. Uh, there were many uh, king of Mughalan. Uh, uh, we are discuss. Uh, we are discussing about the second Mughalan. Was a period in which uh, Dharma uh, propagation activities got a special place. Uh, this period, the Dharma propagation activities got a special place. It was also during this time uh, that the Tripitaka Dharma was. Uh, preached with meaning. Ah, uh, uh, Dharma is mean Buddha's uh, doctrine. Uh, preached with meaning. Many gifts were given to the Dharma, uh, Dhamma preachers, and Dhamma books were written. Uh, King, uh, second Mughalans period. Moreover, he wrote Dhamma poems and read them in the uh, city at night. Why did uh, it uh, in night time? Because all the people gathered to night time. Daytime, they are going to another work and they are working. Therefore, uh, <coughs> read it uh, uh, at night time uh, to create uh, interest in Dhamma among the people. Uh, perhaps there was a decline in the value of the society. So this kind of work was done as. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, <clears throat> uh, King uh, Mughalan uh, too, they uh, launch, uh, launched uh, those activities to the society. During the uh, region of King Agbo first, uh, it should be highlighted uh, Agbo first, uh, King Agbo first. Uh, Vaitulism reimaged. Uh, the Vaitulism or oh, uh, Vaitulivada came again. A leader monk uh, named uh, Jodipal of this time uh, argued with the Vaitulism and uh, defeated them. Uh, they are the elder monk in Sri Lanka uh, in the period of King Agbo first. Uh, the first Agbo. Um, he uh, argued with Vaitulism uh, and the people or the monks who brought uh, Vaitulism in Sri Lanka. They, he argued and uh, he rejected. 
during the time of king uh, shila meg <laughs> are you all okay yes bante with those names <laughs> <laughs> shila mega <laughs> because uh, the, the, the <laughs> those names are familiar to us mm. as sri lankans but uh, we are not familiar with your names <laughs> <laughs> like that <laughs> these days <laughs> is not familiar with you okay uh okay king shila kala uh, uh virtuous monk named bodhi who lived in abegri drew uh, the king's attention to the monks who were acting undisciplined ah uh, uh, venerable bodhi uh, he complained to the king there were some monks they don't follow the disciplinary rule or vinay rule okay uh, to the king uh, shilameng then uh, knowing this the monks killed the virtuous monk uh, the monks who uh, did, did not follow the disciplinary rule or uh, vinay rule they uh, killed that monk the monk bodhi okay they killed the king caught and punished the criminals and expelled another 100 monks for the Uh, the king uh, caught uh, those monks uh, who killed the uh, bodhi and uh, <clears throat> some hundred of monks they expelled from the country uh, king shilameg also performed a uh, order uh, refreshment uh, refreshment uh, in his period after this the period of king uh kashyapa who uh, second kashyapa king kashyapa mm -hmm. <clears throat> was the period of growth is uh, many uh, sasana order activities uh, sasana activities uh, king kashyapa too uh, mm, i think we have to another 5 minutes Yes, for the. Um, ah, we have to uh, hmm. con connect again. Yes, sir. after five minutes. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> renovation of uh, religious uh, buildings and uh, dharma uh, <clears throat> propaganda were uh, uh, prominent among these kings' activities. Ah, uh, actually, at that time, uh, Sri Lankan. Uh, uh kings they did their duty well uh, to build uh, some monasteries and monastery buildings uh, they sponsors uh, sponsored uh, to the temples or monasteries uh, to build uh, buildings and other uh, items uh, and they offered uh, some villages or some field uh, to the temples to maintain the uh, buddhist sasana or buddhist order uh more interest in uh, abidam also arose in this uh, era uh, at this era uh, they are uh, the people and monks uh, they highly uh, understand and uh, they uh, use abidam and uh, they hear and they preached abidam uh, with the society and with the monks the monk of the uh, terrier sect area uh perform the uh pattanikujjana kam okay turn down the arms bowl uh for king datopatissa to the second datopatissa period who tried to make a temple for abayagiris with yeah. the maha vihara ha yeah. uh, actually uh have you heard the word pattanikujjana yes yes bante ha it's a pali word da yes turn down the arms bowl it's mean they uh, the monks uh, go to uh, the monks uh, go to the uh, pindapath okay 
to begin arms uh, to the king's palace but when uh, king come to uh, offer dana they turn uh, mm -hmm. down the arms board can you imagine it's like a joke <laughs> they directly go to the palace king's place okay but when the king come to uh, offer the dana they turn down the arms board it's mean it's a uh, uh, like a protest yes okay at that time the monk can do it they are strong uh, any king so some other person the monks can do it to uh, show their uh, protest okay <laughs> Uh, uh, the king Datopatissa's period, the monk did uh, uh, this uh, <clears throat> activity. Oh, Patani Kujana come. At the begin uh, beginning of the 8th century, it seems that uh, question about the uh, virtue of the monk's life uh, began to rise. Uh, the 8th century uh, <clears throat> uh, question with the monks. Uh, virtue or uh, vinaya disciplines. Uh, Dutahankadari monks known as uh, Pansukulika were highly respected by the public. Uh, how many minutes we have? Less than one minute.